so jump, I've jumped ahead here. After the success of the initial room I built, I decided to move the quarry and or not quarry filler and do it again. So I've discovered a cave. Um, I went up to drop off the resources, and I came down and discovered him. No, not him. That guy. Um. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it from way over here. See, that's why I took... sniping. Did I get him? Got him. So... So there's that cave up there. Um... <laughs> that arrow is glitchy. Um, really laggy. Word of advice, anyone trying to do this themselves, uh, it will cause your game to lag and possibly crash. Partially due to the memory it takes to do this, and partially because of all these items on the ground causing severe lag. So, um... It takes, um, yeah, as you see, my lag is improving getting less as I pick up all this stuff. Um, so bear that in mind. I actually had it crash on me earlier, but um, that was when I was moving my chests full of stone a little bit, which I'll show later. And it, um, there was like a good full two chests worth of stone on the ground and it crashed the thing out of memory. But it saved and nothing was lost. So I did that room without hitting a single cave. I dug the that stuff myself. But this one I hit a cave there and a cave there. Good, more gold. That'll be the third deposit of gold I hit so far. <laughs> that works. I wonder why this arrow glitched out. I wonder if it has to do with the fact that I killed that creeper from miles away. Maybe we have more gold. Hmm. Not sure what to do about that. quit the recording here and uh, if anything else interesting happens I'll resume it again then. Okay, so I came back up my ladder and um, yeah, he must have been standing like right here because I came up the ladder, went that way and I'm like, I'm like, dude, that was really close and oh, hello, and that's when I started recording. Sometimes
sometimes I wonder if like having huge caves like this messes up spawning. They shouldn't have been able to spawn here. Oh well, this thing finally finished charging. I mean, I accidentally let my diamond door get uncharged, so now I have to charge it up the old-fashioned way. But, yeah, it's okay. Alright, so that was all. So, this is kind of interesting. Um, I found a third cave off that room I'm building. Explored it, and found this room with sandstone. That's when I looked at my height and realized I'm at 50. I got... I think I might have hit the surface from the number of mob noises I was hearing. Ow. There's also a cave over there that I haven't explored yet that uh, has water in it lag, and uh, stuff like that. But um, right, as you can see, I'm still getting massive lag from this thing. So I'm going to get the recording again. Okay, so it finally finished. And as soon as I took it down, the arrow that had been stuck, turns out it was stuck on the yellow and black thing, strangely enough. A and as soon as I took the yellow and black thing down, it w turned into a pick upable arrow, arrow. So I was able to grab it and fill the hole in. Now, I just need to grab that gold, and grab that gold, put some torches up there, fill in a bunch of these holes, grab some of the miscellaneous stuff, fill in all these holes, switch that out for stone, grab that, basically just clean this up a bit, make this look nice, fill in that hole. Also, that cave right there is the one where I found the sandstone and that cave right there is the one I haven't explored yet so I'll explore that as well and I'll record that I need to put a torch there and uh, I need to wonder where that water's coming from anyway but uh, yeah so that's what's next actually <laughs> what's really next is to build my nano suit. All this time, all this waiting, all this gathering materials, I finally have everything I need to make my nano suit. Looks so cool. Anyway. So yeah, I'm going to do that next. Perfect. As you can see, those three chests plus that one are all full of stone. This one is just full of dirt stains and gravel. And then this one has the rest of stone. Um, not a hundred percent sure what I'm going to do with all the stone, though I have, um, some stuff in mind that will take a lot of stone. It won't take that much stone. So, it's sort of unknown. Hmm. Right. So, next up, building the nano suit. Alright, so. First thing I have to do, I have to do one more thing before I can build my nano suit, and that's I need to build a crystal charger. The crystal charger is created from 12 redstone, um, 8 gold bars, actually 8 gold dust I should say, um, 6 rubber, which means I'm going to have to chop down another tree. Um, 
16 iron. And 610 and 16 cobblestone. So now I'll go grab a few more trees. Okay, got all those trees cut down. Ton of wood now. Um, obviously I'm not gonna need all this wood, so I'll just bring that much. Now, oh, I need three copper. There we go. Okay. That's everything I need now. Go over here. Put this there. Um, I think I only need five. Er, no, six. Yeah, I only need six, so I'll put that there. Now this... No, not like that. Like that. To make glowstone. Or specifically, two glowstone dust. This will eventually become refined iron, and I'll use refined iron to make two machine blocks. Let's see. Well, that's good. I'm going to check on my MSE transmitter levels. 26,000. Not bad. Not bad. This is almost done. Cables, and then put two cables like that, like that, like that, like that. Use the rest of the redstone to battery. Put this. Now use the cobblestone to make two furnaces. Now put that there to. Smelt it into refined iron. And while that's going, I'm going to come back over here. Um, let's see. I'd like to put the crystal generator right there. Or crystal charger, I should say. Right there. I think that will work. Um, Machine can accept input from any direction, so I think what I'll do is I'll have oops. <laughs> I'll have that there. We'll put cable. Let's see. No, there's a cable there already. See, the problem is, this really only supports four machines. Adding a fifth one is just complicated. I could put it there, I suppose. Hmm. Hmm. Almost done. I'm kind of... I want to put it right here. I really, really do. I suppose, as long, yeah, I think it will work, except that, well, what I need to do is, actually, you know what, it'll probably charge it simply because it's sitting on top of it, yeah, okay, we'll try this.
We'll try that there, see what happens. Yeah. Now put that there, that there, that there. Two generators. Put that there, that there, that there, there, there. One crystal charger. We'll put this here. Cool. Now I need a crystal. So that's the last thing I needed to do before um actively making the nano suit. So I need to put that there because I don't need any cables to make the nano suit. Um this is all I need to make the nano suit, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take everything else out of my inventory and remove the chest to the other room. <laughs> all that coal. Unless, of course, I can fit it all into my inventory. That would be cool. Nice. Okay. Ton of coal. Arranging this a little better here. Right. I'm probably not going to use all the coal, but, you know, it helps to have it. Right. Um, so that's coal macerating. Let's see. Right off the bat, I'm going to use this to do that because I also need two glowstone to make the nano suit. Um, ah, I know what I'm missing. There is one thing that I didn't put bother to put down because it's not technically on the um, requirements list, and that's a bucket. Actually, because Remember, I lost my other bucket, so I'm going to have to do that. I also need to keep generator charging stuff, because otherwise I will um, run out of power, and that isn't good. Alright, um, let's see how this is doing. This will take quite some time because I have to macerate all the coal. So I think I'm going to um, cut the video until I've processed all this coal. Okay, so I finished macerating all my coal. So now I have 13 stacks of coal dust. So I can now do the next step. And the next step is to build coal balls. Coal balls are made by stacking the coal all around like this and then putting flint in the middle. And that gives you a coal ball. It takes eight coal balls per industrial diamond. So it takes um, 72 flint to make a um, um, 9 diamond. And a diamond is turned to energy crystals at a 1 to 1 ratio. So the coal balls then go into the compressor to be compressed into compressed coal chunks. Also, the coal dust will also be combined into carbon fibers. It takes um, a bunch of carbon fibers to make the carbon fibers you need, uh, but then the carbon fibers turn into combined carbon fibers. It takes nine coal dust to make a combined carbon fiber, and you need 29 carbon 
combined carbon fibers to build the nano suit. Once the compressor fish is compressed into coal balls, I'll put the combined carbon fibers in and compress them in as well. So I think I'm going to jump cut this. And after this finishes, then you put these on as well to compress them into carbon plating. Well, carbon plates. Once you've completed that step, it's uh, oh yeah, it uh, <laughs> forgot what I was trying to do there. Um, let's see here. Yeah, and then you put that there, and you get coal chunks. that. The coal chunks get then compressed again. And coal chunks will compress into industrial diamonds, the second to last step in making energy crystals. Yep. You might notice that industrial diamonds are slightly duller in color than normal diamonds. Put industrial diamond or real diamond there and put redstone around it, and you get energy crystal that's uncharged. Now, of course, you have to charge the crystal. To charge the crystal, I need to figure out how I'm going to get power over there. I have not yet decided. <laughs> also, side note, you, um, can only stack uncharged crystals, just like you can only stack uncharged batteries. I think they stacked it like 16. I can't remember. Right. Okay, so I'm charging the energy crystals here. It's very slow. So, because charcoal only provides a small amount of power, so to bump it up, I'm going to do something kind of creative here. Actually, let's see here. I can't quite remember how to do this. Um, I believe if I do this, I get that. And then I can press it. But, uh, I, I would like, um, six fuel cans. So, for six fuel cans, hmm, I'll need... I'll make one, this will make one fuel can. So, I need two more. Torch down here. <laughs> um, let's see. Now, if I recall, 
is something like that, something like that. Yeah, okay. And then clumpy fuel goes in the extractor. Okay. And then it comes out fuel. Pull that out, put that in there. That will charge it for a long time. And if I recall correctly, should be enough. Right. Well, it took me nearly all day, pretty much. But I am finally ready to do the actual building. Nano leggings. Um, let's see here. Nano boots. Nano helmet. And nano body armor. That's the nano suit. Now, to make it better, advanced nano helmet. Advanced nano body armor. Advanced nano leggings. And advanced nano boots. Oh, yeah. There we go. Cool. Now, the four pieces, in case you don't know already, the four pieces have four different have, have different passive and active effects. The helmet gives the passive effect of a you can breathe underwater. The chest gives you the passive effect of invulnerability. The legs have an active effect. If you hold down control, you'll run faster. And if you hold down control with the boots, you'll jump higher. The that's their active effect. The boots also have a passive effect of preventing all fall damage, which is quite nice. Side note, they only work at less than 33 or 30% 30 energy. So bear that in mind. Now, gotta clean this room up a bit. 